only on News 6 tonight, the behind-the-scenes story of how UCF police got crime results and hunted down the suspected serial groper on campus last month. It was like an episode out of CSI, cross-referencing key card logs with surveillance video and computer logins. News 6's Eric Von Anken spent the day with UCF detectives to get an inside exclusive look into this investigation. So Eric, police believe this guy attacked six different women. They all started to come forward, Matt, after police used their campus-wide alert system that they use occasionally to reach some 60,000 students and warn them and ask for their help. Detectives checked almost every surveillance camera on campus, pouring through hours of footage until they found a needle in a haystack. This individual coming out of the secured door is our suspect. Detectives discovered in the minutes before the young woman was groped in this parking garage, a man matching the same description she gave police, wearing a hooded sweatshirt and carrying a lunchbox, walked into the garage from the building across the street. And then walking out of the garage, the same man looking different. He's no longer wearing a sweatshirt, and he's actually using the sweatshirt to conceal the lunchbox that he's still holding. The man makes a getaway just as police pull up, his wife pulls up. This is uh, the suspect and his wife now exiting the area. Detectives backed up the tape and noticed the man was buzzed into the building earlier that day. So police printed out the key card log and discovered a friend had let in the man. When we went inside, we found the, the, the person who let the suspect in that day to the building. Abdullah Zaman was the man in the video, police said, a PhD student. This building right here is Creel Building, where the suspect works, and uh, two of the attacks happened in the sidewalk between the two buildings right there. UCF Police Commander James Mangan and his team of detectives mapped out Zaman's building and realized it was right in the middle. And this would be his hunting ground where the, all the attacks happened or started with. Police tell me the key card logs. He hangs out over here in this area uh, for no particular reason. And the surveillance video showed Zaman walking back into his building around three minutes after each attack. So detectives walked it, and surely enough, it took them three minutes. They knew they had their man. We couldn't solve this sitting behind a computer. We had to go out and walk the areas, look for the cameras. Police say that Zaman's wife picked him up one more time when he bought it out of the Orange County Jail last month. He told police his alibi was his two-year-old daughter, that they were eating ice cream together somewhere else. So detectives checked the campus network, and they found Zaman was logged on on campus when the attacks happened, they say. Ginger, Matt. Pretty incredible stuff. Eric Von Anken reporting live. Thank you, Eric.